This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the perfect place to create a professional website for creators constantly on the go. Sharp is not the name you would expect to find sitting on the front end of a camera, as most would recognize Sharp as a company that manufactures LCDs for their televisions and also makes household appliances. But they have quietly built up quite a history with camera development reaching back to the 90s. The Sharp 8K MFT was a promising 8K camera that was aimed at the prosumer market. With an already created 8K broadcast camera and the plans for establishing an 8K ecosystem, Sharp might have proven to be a serious rival to Blackmagic Design. But what happened to this recently announced camera that has gone radio silent over the last few years? Find out today on our Abandoned Camera Series. As always, let's take a little look back at the history of Sharp and what got them into making cameras. As previously stated, Sharp is really more known for making televisions and household appliances than they are camera equipment. But Sharp did have previous experience in developing and releasing cameras, most notably the ViewCam camcorders from the early 90s. Looking at the world's most amazing video camera. Sharp ViewCam. It's a video camera, VCR, and color TV all in one. Sharp also sells specialized high speed cameras, though the picture on their website does say that the image of the camera is for illustrative purposes only. So we couldn't really find too much on what those entail or if you want to buy one in the first place. And you know, that's really a shame because having a website to post high quality content to is so important. You know, maybe the Sharp 8K wouldn't have been abandoned if it had built a site for it on Squarespace. Squarespace is the perfect place to post video, photos, and promote your next big camera project with easy to design templates that are customizable to your specific needs, Squarespace is a great option for those needing a professional site to attract clients who are desperately looking for someone who shoots 8K footage. With super sleek, easy to customize templates, you could have your site up, running, and looking professional within a couple of hours. Squarespace seriously is one of the easiest places to build your website. With a multitude of templates and features to help out the everyday creative who just needs a good looking site to show off their work, book new clients, and showcase their latest projects. So head right now to squarespace.com slash framevoyager with a link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain using the code FRAMEVOYAGER. Now, back to some abandoned cameras. But Sharp had their eye on the prosumer and broadcast markets, which were both new territories for the Japanese company. And not only did they want to just get into the prosumer market, they wanted to make a big splash in the industry while doing so. Sharp's 8K is a technology with incredible promise. Displays, content libraries, 8K transmission infrastructure, shooting and editing equipment. These are just some of the things for which Sharp is developing 8K applications. Sharp is changing lifestyles and society through its 8K ecosystem. Interestingly enough, Sharp was on a quest, developing an 8K ecosystem, 8K video produced on Sharp 8K cameras and played back on Sharp 8K displays. To this day, Sharp is incredibly active in the display market, but Sharp's intent in dominating the 8K broadcasting space is a new development. In 2017, Sharp released their first 8K camera, the 8CB60A. This broadcast camera has found its fans being used by NHK, the Japanese broadcasting station to stream their content in 8K. The camera is even able to stream 8K over a 5G network, making it an attractive option for internet broadcasts. Having found a foothold in the professional sphere, Sharp set their sights on the prosumer market and started developing an affordable 8K pocket camera, the Sharp 8K MFT, or as is known in the company internally, the 8CB30A. Cliff, you have something very interesting that Sharp is uh, kind of getting into a whole new space, but you guys are going big. Yeah, this is very <laughs> exciting. As you know, we introduced our, our Sharp Professional 8K camera, and today we're doing a sneak peek of a product that we'll be introducing formally later this year, but we, we're showing a prototype of a 
uh, a prosumer 8K camera, video camera, um, that'll be on the market later this year. The Sharp 8K MFT was first showcased at CES in 2019 and was considered to be the first announced prosumer 8K camera ever on the market. Canon and Sony would also get into the 8K prosumer game in 2019 as well. The Sharp camera created a bit of buzz for being able to record 8K at 30 frames per second while being relatively affordable. Sharp projected the price to be set under $4,000 for a portable 8K camera that could rival the Blackmagic Pocket Series and maybe even some professional cameras that could not record in that resolution. Prototypes were made available to multiple tech reviewers at the time, which was a brave move on Sharp's part. To put into perspective how early in development the Sharp 8K MFT was at the time, those review models were the first working cameras that they made. Menus and basic settings like custom white balance did not work yet, and neither did any of the inputs or outputs. This has only been working, from my understanding, for the last couple of weeks. It's amazing. So this literally is the first iteration of this camera that is actually working and able to record an image. Um, there's still a lot of features that uh, haven't been implemented, but um, you know we weren't sure what to expect with this right. um, because we had no idea about specifications. We didn't know um, what was going to be working, what we were going to be able to do with it. The camera managed to wow mainly for its true 8K sensor, which was being developed by Sharp in-house, and the support from Sharp's Taiwanese parent company, Foxconn, which, like Sharp, is highly experienced in producing all sorts of products. Interestingly, 40% of consumer electronics sold were produced by Foxconn, including many Sony, Nintendo, and Microsoft consoles. So if Sharp cannot produce certain electronic components for the Sharp 8K MFT camera, Foxconn certainly could, ensuring that the camera was built completely in-house, which could explain explain the camera's low price projection. Their homemade 8K CMOS sensor aside, the Sharp 8K has more interesting features. So this new Sharp 8K camera uh, supports micro four thirds lenses. It also has a, uh, a four thirds size uh, 16 by nine uh, CMOS developed by Sharp. We have uh, uh, several outputs. We have 8K HDMI output, which you, you can see here behind me, so you can get that beautiful picture. Um, you, you can send that out to a screen or another size display. We also have a USB Type-C output, which is great for uh, connecting to external storage um, using the H.265 uh, codec. So, um, so moving into that 420 space really um, drop the file size down in the H.265 codec. So it doesn't have a viewfinder, so basically you use this 5.5 inch display to basically, uh, it's touch screen, so you could do touch focus. Um, this current uh, uh, incarnation of the product doesn't have autofocus, but the final product will have autofocus. So we haven't finalized the dynamic range spec, but the engineers are targeting around uh, 13 stops. According to the reviews of the 2019 prototype, the camera was comfortable to record with, primarily using UH3 class 10 SD cards as a storage medium, allowing the user to film 30 minutes of footage at 8K 30p on a 64 gigabyte SD card. This actually really good recording time is possible thanks to Sharp's 8K recording encoded video footage at H.265 200 megabits stored in MP4 containers. While achieving considerably long recording times for 8K footage, it wasn't discussed if the camera will ever be able to record in RAW video or even ProRes, putting the viability of the camera for professional gigs sort of into question. I think at the moment, it's sort of like anything that's new, mm -hmm. like we've never seen an 8K camera in this price range yeah. for, for what this camera is supposedly going to, 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 to be marketed at, I think around 3000 so the fact that they've been able to put all that in there is impressive in itself. Yes. And I think really it's more of a proof of concept camera at this yeah. stage to show everybody, hey, look, we can do this. Additionally, the dynamic range was speculated to be at 10 to 12 stops. The camera is not excellent in low light and new shooter reviews remarked that they had spotted noticeable banding in the preview monitor on the prototype camera, but they could not confirm if the banding was going to be visible in the final 8K image as they had difficulties editing the actual encoded footage, having to resort to transcoding their test footage down to 4K to be able to use and showcase it. Despite the flaws, the camera left a positive impression to the point where even highly visible fixed pattern noise at higher ISO settings or the intense rolling shutter being described as one of the worst, of course, partially because the camera was pretty much unfinished at the time. But I mean, hey, it worked better than the Fran 8K did unfinished, right? Hello. 
But around the end of 2019 and into 2020, all talk of Sharp's 8K MFT camera stopped. Canon and Sony would go on to release their 8K prosumer cameras, leaving Sharp behind in the dust. This seems to be an odd development, considering how much it seemed Sharp was betting on this 8K ecosystem and getting into the prosumer market at a much more affordable rate than its competitors. And back in 2017, Sharp and Foxconn were even ready to invest in red digital cinema. The American spokesperson of Sharp, Cliff, announced years back that the camera would be sold in the second half of 2019. This product's going to be under $4,000 and available in the second half of this year. But Cliff did not return to CES or the NAB booth in the past year. So Sharp also seems to have their focus set on interactive displays for the corporate market, not even mentioning their 8K cameras in public promotional events and videos since their last presentation at CES in 2020. So what happened here? Why did Sharp just seemingly abandon the 8K MFT camera? I think that an obvious answer here is the pandemic. It really just shut down production and killed a lot of supply needs for sensor creation, as well as other industry supply issues. And while that might be the case. Companies like Blackmagic, Canon, Sony, and others still kept to their schedule and were able to release cameras during the pandemic, even if they were short on stock. So while it's highly likely this may be the case, there is another alternative. Sharp could come out swinging any day, but I think they missed their potential window here to compete with companies like Blackmagic and even like something like Zcam or those that are trying to create more low budget cinema camera options for customers. With multiple 8K cameras releasing from their more experienced competitors and Blackmagic Design even releasing a relatively cost-effective 12K camera, Sharp might have a more difficult time making the Sharp 8K MFT a reality, especially after continuous chip shortages and rumored upgrades to the Sharp 8K, increasing the maximum frame rate at 8K from 30p to 60p, which if true is going to delay the camera's release even further. So I think we can all about call this camera abandoned for now, but stay tuned. Maybe they're working on an even higher resolution camera in the future. But this is probably probably not the worst abandoned 8K camera ever. That reward goes to the bizarre Fran 8K camera prototype that couldn't even record an image. So click here to decide for yourself if this camera was real or a scam, because we all know what Philip Bloom thinks.